You don't go from being principally an undergraduate school to a major research university with national and international recognition and maintain that tie to the undergraduate program and make it uh, continue to grow and thrive if we didn't have great faculty. For me, a great professor is one that can inspire his or her students to do the best that they can. When a professor allows their students to grow as a student and gives them the resources to be able to do so and allow them to be able to come to them whenever they are in need, then the students not only excel, but that allows the professor to grow as well. A great professor really is bounded by two things. One is that they're relatable, someone that I can feel like I can trust everything that they're telling me. Another aspect is someone who is approachable, someone who when I have a question and really want to know something more about the topic at hand that I'm comfortable going to them asking questions. One of the greatest professors I had was Stacy Kuntzman. Something that really stuck out to me about her was how passionate she was not only for teaching but for her students in her classroom. Like she made like going to class every day fun. Like it made you want to come back for more, learn more, hear more about her life, and just how much she cared about other students. She wants you to really be successful, and she genuinely cares. I have a very specific memory of falling asleep in one of my accounting classes. You know, I don't know how she noticed, because of course I was on the back row, same way that you do on Sunday morning. Um, after class, she found me and she basically gave me the phone number of someone at Price Waterhouse and said, these folks need a gopher. Um, you won't have to work the job that you're working all night. You can work during the day, and maybe then you won't fall asleep in my class. I, I look at that and say, not only was she interested in me ensuring I got the, you know, the, the content of the class, but she took the extra time. She found a channel that I would have never had access to um, and kind of got me started on something. Dr. Mary Harper. She was a freshman English professor and I remember the first time that I saw her I thought she was a beautiful woman but she was extremely intimidating. She taught me that communication is critical to any business transaction so when you meet somebody for the first time either in a written format or oral format that's how they're going to really assess who you are as a person and she taught me that mediocrity in communications is basically not an option. So that's something that is carried with me throughout the course of my life. My freshman year, I was actually put in an English class. And for me, being a STEM-oriented person, I don't care for English whatsoever. However, my professor, Malcolm Campbell, not only was he very intriguing and very vibrant in the classroom, but he was also very receptive to his students. He was able to carry me outside of my comfort zone so well that now I have a very deep appreciation for the art of English and the art of writing and has allowed me to dig deeper into myself and realize I actually have a gift in that area. It's those little things that they go out of their way for that I think makes our, principally our undergraduate programs, just, just super. And it's those faculty that make a difference.